Okay, I have some more the Lord is wanting me to share. I just feel the fire of the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to read the word and then speak what he tells me to speak. And thank you for those who are praying for me because, you know, we have to deny ourselves and follow Jesus. We have to let the Spirit speak through us and the Spirit do what he's going to do. So bless, bless those who pray for me, hallelujah, because I, in, in and of myself, am nobody and I am weak and Christ is strong. So hallelujah. Ephesians 5. Okay, now the, my last video was about the bride making herself ready. We have to have, our garments have to be clean. Okay, we have to walk. We have to walk in obedience. And I'm going to read it right now to prove to you that we do have to walk in the light as he is in the light. It's all over the Bible. Okay. And um, I shared in another video how Noah was a preacher of righteousness. He walked righteously. Okay. So I'm just going to read Ephesians 5. And he preached righteousness. And I'll put that verse again. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Walk in love. As Christ also has loved us and has given himself for us as an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor or aroma. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becometh, become saints. Neither filthiness nor foolish joking nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. For this you know, that no, no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Okay? Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. The word of God is powerful. Wow. Paul, through the Holy Spirit, wrote this. The Holy Spirit warned, warned the churches to make themselves ready for the king. Children of light, for you are sometimes darkness, but now are you light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them, which means expose them because I looked it up. I know it. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest, exposed by the light. Um, I think make manifest means exposed again. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Hallelujah. So if we are exposing darkness, then we are light in the Lord, and he gets all the glory. Hallelujah, because he's coming for a pure, holy, and spotless bride, and the bride makes herself ready. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and rise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. See then, see then, that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine, wherein it is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Let's glorify the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting yourselves one to another, in the fear of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I don't want to add to his word at all, and I won't. In, in reflection to his word, you know, it speaks loud and clear. And in reflection to his word, let us walk, be holy as he is holy, because it is he who works in us to will and to act according to his good purpose. And I'll put the KJV version of that in the description box. The great thing about Jesus is that when we repent of mistakes or weaknesses or not being holy, he washes us and helps us do better. Hallelujah. 
And we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So glory to God. I just wanted to share that as well.